today we are going to study about the problem defects remedies okay when we are doing the hard gelatin capsule manufacturing when you are doing this there are some problems and there are some uh what about that remedies for those problems you know and there are some reasons for those problems those we are going to study we are going to study the defects problems and remedies in hard gelatin capsules okay now when we were uh when we studied tablet in tablet manufacturing also after the manufacturing was taking place it is not that whatever you intend to whatever the well, the product that you want the same product is going to come out of the machine that is not going to happen isn't it sometimes because of some faulty adjustment of the machine because of the formulation okay because of the excipients or because of some other reasons okay there might be some problem which you may be seeing now uh in order to understand this topic of minds today okay whatever i'm going to take today in order to understand this the main thing is that you should understand the machines which i have taught you in the last lecture i taught you about the machine in the last two lectures if you remember yeah in my last lecture i taught you about the uh, uh what called the filling uh, techniques i have taught you isn't it filling techniques or filling methods are different different that is the dependent filling system or uh, independent filling system that i have taught you okay i have also taught you the methods of tamping pain the dosator method is it how the liquids have been filled that i have taught you to uh, before before that lecture okay i have also taught you about the different different types of machine that is the semi automatic machine and the functioning of it the automatic machine and the functioning of it okay hand operated machines okay these all we have seen so we have seen the machines and we have also seen the different different principles okay that are being used similar to tablet unless and until you know the tablet compression process unless and until you understand the tablet compression machine the automatic tablet compression machine you won't be in a position to understand the defects that is, that is happening to the tablet in the similar manner you have to use your knowledge about the earlier two lectures when i am talking about uh, in in this lecture okay now let us start with the simplest topic that is the common defects that are seen in the hard gelatin capsule now when you purchase the hard gelatin capsule there are some defects that you see in the raw material itself or the hard gelatin capsule these defects can be seen okay these common defects can these are these can be seen visually itself okay and these can be seen once the tablet uh, capsule has been purchased by you during that time okay that is in in empty hard gelatin capsule or these can be seen after manufacturing also okay in both the case it can be seen one of the uh, common defects is in the terms of shape okay so what are the problems that you share, uh, see in the terms of shape one you see is the dent that is the dent see you can see over here the dent has taken place usually the dent is seen at the crown that's at the top okay this dent is seen but it can be seen anywhere it can be seen sideways also it can be seen over here also it can be seen over here also okay it can be seen the dent can be seen in this way also okay this dent we will do some further study in detail okay then you can see the capsules which are mashed okay which are totally squeezed okay this is a mashed kind of a capsule right then you can see capsule which is having short and long caps and bodies okay so now this cap this body is too long or you can see you can say alternatively you can say this this cap is too short right so you can you can you can also see the body which is too short or you can see the cap which is also too long so you can see short and long caps or bodies okay the next thing that you can see in the uh, in the hard gelatin capsule next defect that you can see is the double cap so you have cap from the from this side also okay and you have cap from the this side also so you have cap from top as well as you have cap from bottom okay the next thing that you can see is the bend the capsule gets bent so the capsule should be straight over here but it has got bend over here if you see there is bend that you can see right in this way the bend will be see okay so the next next defect that is been seen is the color you have different color okay so you have different color cap or you have a different color body okay or the or the color variation is been seen so you may have a different color itself or there will be a this color that may be seen in a capsule another problem that is seen in the terms of appearance so what are the problem that you see in the terms of appearance there may be dirt which is there in the capsule so you see that dirt attached to the capsule 
you can see a foreign particle that is present inside the capsule if it is transparent that you can see it is present inside the capsules or you can see it is about the capsule okay you can see that there is a scrap that is there on the capsule so this is the scrap that is there on the capsule you can see the edge which have been toned so this is the tone edge right this is not an uneven edge you can see over here you can see a split in the capsule so this split has been there inside the capsule you can see a cracked capsule okay the cap, the cap over here has been cracked you can see telescopic capsule like we are going to see dent in detail we are also going to see telescopic kind of a capsule in detail in telescopic capsule what happens is this body this is the part of the body okay this is the part of the body so you have this body the body is coming on top of the cap okay so this is the part of the body which has come on the on the cap okay so this is nothing but the telescopic capsule this is another telescopic capsule you see another kind of a capsule where the capsule has hole so there is a hole inside this capsule okay these are all the problems of appearance you can see problems in terms of printed marks here there should be printing but the printing has not taken place so there is a no mark that is happening on this capsule which should be actually be or you can see improper mark so the a should have been in this way but if you see a this is how the printing has come okay so there may be problem in the printing also so these are the different different kinds of defects that you see you see the difference in terms of shape okay that is denting mashing short or long caps or bodies you can see double cap you can see bend or you can see problems in colors that is different colors or discoloration you can see the problem in appearance that is you have dirt you have foreign particle you have scrape or you have uh, uh, edge you have split you have crack kind of a capsule you have telescopic kind of a capsule you have hole or you can see the problem in the printing marks also whereby you either have no marks or you have improper marks these are the common defects that are seen in the hard gelatin capsule when you are purchasing this capsule okay when the manufacturer sends you this capsule for example you are you are, uh, you are working in a in an industry where you are doing formulation of capsule and you have purchased capsule from associated capsule just for an example okay and when the capsule comes to you you can see this defect or these defects can also be seen okay once the manufacturing once the formulation has been filled into this once the filling has taken place after that also you can see this defects in the hard gelatin capsules okay clear till here any problem have you understood this then i can go further understood quite that way it is quite simple to understand let us move further okay now now let us go in detail capsule filling now you are doing filling of the capsules when you are doing capsule filling what are the problems and remedies that happen during capsule filling okay am i clear earlier problem could have been when you have purchased the capsules also or it can could have been after filling also now the problem that we are seeing is cap when you are doing the capsule filling okay these problems and remedies that we are going to see now these kind of table whatever kind of table i have shown you this kind of table is not available this i am taking in very detail okay please understand whatever uh, in latchman uh, this part is totally not available they have not included this part in latchman there are some textbooks which have uh, included this but they have just taken one one paragraph of this for example capsule does not enter the vaccine they have just taken one one part of it you can study in detail whatever i have shown you over here you can study in detail also or you can study in short also as i told you latchman does not include this and uh, as latchman is not including this so most of the uh, gpat paper does not find uh, uh, problems of filling uh, problem uh, and remedies of capsule filling okay this is just a disclaimer that i am giving right so let us move with uh, uh, the first capsule filling problem and remedy that is the capsule is does not enter the magazine okay capsule is not entering the magazine now what is a magazine okay this is a magazine from here this is this is the hopper in which above this is the hopper in which capsules are been placed and these capsules now enter if you if you remember the video which i had shown you uh, yesterday now from this hopper the capsules are entering inside this magazine okay so these these are the magazine inside this, this hole is the magazine inside this magazine the 
capsules are been entering and they get aligned over here right in the in this uh, slots they get aligned themselves these capsules get aligned but the problem that happens is the capsules is not entering inside the magazine what may be the reason for it one of the reason that may be for it is because of the baffle plate okay is not set properly so so if you see over here this is the hopper and from the hopper the capsules the capsule shell the empty capsule shells are entering inside the magazine if you see over here the capsule shell are entering inside the magazine but this entry of capsule does not take inside the magazine okay so here the capsule is not getting entered the one of the reason is because of the baffle plate is not set properly okay you have a baffle plate over here if you see over here you have a baffle plate over here and this baffle plate okay is adjusted this baffle plate over here is adjusted with the help of the with the uh, um, uh, uh, as per the capsule sizes okay for example if you have a big capsule size for example zero or zero then the gate should be open a little bit more if you have a small capsule size then the gate is a little bit close okay but if you don't open this baffle plate okay if the baffle plate setting is not done properly okay in that case the capsule does not enter the magazine this is the first problem that you are going to see okay the second uh, cause of the capsule not entering magazine is because of the damaged magazine the magazine itself this magazine okay this magazine gets damaged okay and because of this damaged magazine the capsule is not getting entering inside the magazine okay the next thing is because of because of the machine speed is very slow okay ideally the machine should run at a very high speed okay if the speed is below 50 to 60 okay then it could cause a problem okay the next uh, reason why the capsule does not enter the magazine is because the capsule itself is damaged and if the capsule itself is damaged then definitely this capsule is not going to enter inside the magazine okay so damaged capsules prevent the entry of good capsules also entering inside the magazine okay so when you receive the magazine that time uh, sorry when you receive the capsule that time you should you should segregate the damaged capsule from the normal capsule okay and the last reason may be because of some foreign particle which is entering inside the magazine if some foreign particle is entering inside the magazine then it may clog this magazine over here so some somewhere over here the magazine is getting clogged and if the magazine gets clogged okay then it is the, then the capsules are not going to enter inside the magazine in such a case what you have to do is you have to clean the magazine with the compressed air okay in order to clear the magazine okay just to repeat uh, to you once again okay the first problem in capsule filling is that is the capsule is not entering the magazine these capsule empty capsule shell are not entering the magazine this may be because of the baffle plate which is not set properly this may be because of the damaged magazine the magazine itself is damaged this may be because the machine is very slow than the normal this may be because of the damaged capsule okay or this may be also because of the foreign particle which is entering inside the capsule ma magazine okay even if you remember this problem and even if you remember this causes okay then also you will be able to write down these remedies okay so only you have to remember these two things this is quite easy for you to write down if you understand it properly okay let us move further so the first problem was capsule does not enter the magazine the second problem that happens during filling of capsule is that the capsule does not enter the rectifier block if you if you see the next slide of mine okay so now this is the magazine from the magazine it comes in the rectifier block if you remember i uh, yesterday's video whereby i stopped the video and i showed you that in one place what was happening the body is below and the cap is on the top see over you can see over here the body is below whereas the cap is on the top okay this type of a capsule okay you can see over here how the capsule is entering inside the rectifier right so so from this from this end this is catching this capsule and it is entering inside the uh, bush okay uh, the upper and the lower bush okay which for the get separated right and see this enters from here it goes over here this is the first stage 
this is the second stage okay then it goes from here right from by with the help of this blades it goes and sits over here right so this is how the capsule is been aligned okay let us assume now the uh, the cap is below over here if you see the cap is below over here okay here the cap was on the top here the cap is below so this what is going to do so this part of the rectifier is going to act act it is going to hold the capsule in this way cap in this way this is the second position this is the third position again what is happening the cap is again on the top over here here also the cap is on the top okay this is how the alignment takes place this is how the rectification takes place with the help of rectifier okay so you can say uh, in rectification process both the magazine and rectifier okay both they take a part in order to rectify the capsule okay got it yeah so let us know uh, so. now now this i was trying to tell you the capsule does not enter the rectifier block this is the second problem why this may happen why the capsule may not enter into the rectifier block because the one of the reason may be that the capsules are not stored properly storage of capsule is very very important okay so if the ca capsule was stored overnight without proper climatic control okay then what may happen the capsule may stick to each other okay and this sticking of capsule to each other may prevent them to be transferred to the magazine slot okay so improper room condition may also cause the problem that is it is not entering the rectifier block or it may be also because the magazine is not aligned properly with the rectifier block so you have this magazine okay and you have below over here the rectifier block right this whole this both the magazine and the rectifier block both forms the part of rectification they both take part in rectification but if this magazine and the rectifier block if they are not aligned properly like we saw the tablet tablet machine also there should be a proper alignment of everything if this alignment is not proper then also there may be a problem whereby the capsule is not entering into the rectifier block so from the magazine it is not entering the rectifier block itself okay got it so this is the second problem that is the capsule the first problem was what the capsule was not entering inside the magazine itself now the capsule is either not entering inside the magazine or it is not entering inside the rectifier block it has entered inside the magazine but is not going inside the rectifier block right got it so this was the second problem the third problem is that the capsule gets damaged during loading so when you are loading the capsule okay at that time the capsule is getting so where you are loading from the rectifier block you are loading inside the bushes okay so from this rectifier block so this is the rectification from here you are loading inside the bushes so you have a top bush over here right and you have a uh, you have another bush which is there below right so these are the two bushes the top and the lower bush okay and the capsule gets entered inside this bush it gets aligned inside this bush okay so it gets aligned inside the bush in such a way that the uh, uh, cap is on the in the top bush and the uh, body is in the lower bush this type of an alignment takes place inside the bush but here what happens is while getting loaded this capsule is getting damaged it should go very swiftly inside this inside this bush the capsule should enter very swiftly but what is happening is this capsule is getting damaged during the loading of this so when you are loading from the rectifier inside the bush okay in in a semi automatic machine we have called them as uh, uh, ring isn't it over here we call them as the bush top bush and the bottom bush right so when when they are getting loaded inside the bushes what happens is they get damaged so what may be the probable cause it that is the problem then what you have to do is you have to align the cap and the push properly along with the 
uh, rectifier with the help of the gauge. Okay, if there is any problem in the uh, alignment. Okay, so let us let us see the uh, see the first three problems. The first problem that we have seen was capsule does not enter the magazine. Okay, the second problem was capsule does not enter the rectifier block. It may be the problem may be due to the uh, improper storage condition. Now, improper storage condition of capsule may lead to many other problems also. Okay, please remember. One of the problem is uh, uh, when when the capsule is not uh, uh, what do you call that uh, uh, stored properly. Okay, it also may cause the problem in disintegration also further. Okay, so capsule does not enter the rectifier block. This is the second problem, and the third problem that we have seen is capsule. Is getting loaded, okay, inside the uh, pushes, okay, top and the bottom push, but the they get damaged during this process, okay. The next problem that that happens is the target. Now the capsule is going inside the bush properly. It is going inside the magazine. It is uh, getting inside the uh, what you call that? It is going inside the bush. It is getting separated from each other. Everything is happening properly. But the problem that happens is whatever is the weight that should be there inside the capsule, that weight is not getting achieved. Okay, so the target weight is not getting achieved. So the problem that is going to happen is over here is going to be non-uniformity of weight. Okay, so uniformity of weight is not going to happen. And because of this, what is going to happen? Your uh, capsules are going to fail, fail the weight variation test. The weight variation test that we are going to do for the capsule, that it is failing. Okay, when you are doing IPQC, you find that the capsules are having low weight. What may be the reason for it? Okay, for this, you have to remember now the tamping process principle. Okay, tamping pin principle. Okay, so if you if you know the tamping pin principle, you will be able to identify this causes okay now uh, one of the one of the co probable causes may be okay because of the capsule size selection okay you don't have the proper capsule size selected for it in this case what you have to do is you have to check for the tap density okay you may have uh, you may have uh, found out the wrong density as you have found out the wrong density hence if the density goes wrong then the capsule size selection also is wrong okay the moisture content that you have found out is wrong because of that also the tap density is going to get affected and because of that also the capsule size is going to get affected also if the particle size distribution and the flow properties they are variable okay in that case also you are going to find out the variable uh, you are going to select the wrong capsule size okay so if you have selected the wrong capsule size then definitely the target weight is not going to be achieved with the help of this. The second main reason it may be because of the improper slug formation. Okay, so what you are doing over here is actually with the help of the tamping pin. So this is the tamping pin one. You have pressed one. You have pressed the second time. You have pressed the third time. You have pressed the fourth time, and you have pressed the fifth time. So when you do this pressing, what actually you do is. You convert this powder into slugs. Okay, you are converting these powders into slugs. So what happens is there is improper slug formation. This may happen. There is an improper slug formation. This may happen because of the insufficient tamping. Okay, so the tamping is not proper. As the tamping is not proper, hence. The slug formation is also not proper, and as the slug formation is not proper, hence the target weight is not getting achieved. Okay, just for example, just imagine that this this is the first stage where the powder should be compressed. So you have put the powder and it should be compressed at this level. Okay, so this level should have been achieved because of the compression, ah, uh, because of the tamping, but this level is not getting achieved. Okay, this much pressure is not getting, uh, it is not been exerted, and the slug is of this size in the first this thing, in the first pressure. So now what is going to happen? Now in the next stage, the amount of powder that is getting entered inside is going to be only this much. 
this much powder is getting entered whereas the powder that should have been entered would have been this much so instead of that as this much volume is only present only small volume is present therefore small amount of powder is going inside so this weight is not getting achieved are you understanding okay this is because of the improper slug formation okay now so uh, so you have to ensure that uh, the uh, proper tamping is taking place insufficient tamping is not taking place now the next reason for improper slug formation is because the powder quantity that is entering inside the dosing disc now this is the dosing disc okay this is the dosing disc the dosing disc looks something let's let me show you this is this is how the dosing disc looks like okay this is how the dosing disc looks like now the selection of dosing disc is very important now if you see this dosing disc this dosing disc is having a different kind of a thickness okay this is a little bit thicker dosing disc if it is going to have a thicker do if, if the dosing disc is a little bit thicker okay then what is going to happen the volume that is there inside this okay so your tamping pins are going to go inside this and your powder is also going to go inside this isn't it right so if it is thicker then more amount of powder is going to get compressed if it is uh, if it is not thicker okay less amount of powder is going to go inside this dosing this okay are you understanding so the amount of the slug so the so the weight of the slug also depends upon what it depends upon the dosing disc okay what is the thickness of the dosing disc so depending upon this you get different different what you call that weight of the slugs which are going to put inside the capsule like you have weight variation over there the weight was adjusted with the help of weight variation step here the weight is adjusted with the help of the dosing disc you take a thicker dosing disc you will have more weight of this slug you take <coughs> thinner dosing this you have less dose of the drug okay yeah coming back over here now <clears throat> so the uh, so the powder quantity in the, the the powder going inside the dosing this so this is the dosing this over here so the powder that is going inside the dosing this may be less okay so insufficient powder is flowing inside the holes of the dosing this right the next may be improper selection of dosing this right you have to take a uh, uh, take a thicker dosing this but you have taken a thinner dosing this or you have to take a thinner dosing this but you have taken a thicker dosing this right because of this improper selection of the dosing this also what is going to happen the target weight is not going to be achieved by you are, are you all understanding what i am trying to say a little bit difficult this topic is a little bit difficult are you understanding everybody is there anybody who is not understanding any part that you have not understood i will repeat it for you anybody has not understood any questions you have okay fine then let me move further uh, now it may be uh, the third may be this uh, target is not achieved because improper slug is not uh, formed it may be because of the improper selection of the dosing this the next may be the, because of the uh, support spring okay the, this tamping pin has the springs okay which goes and it presses okay once it presses over here there are the support spring that are that are that are attached over here so there are the support spring that are attached over here <coughs> this support spring may have developed some crack or they have they may be some problem in this support spring and there is some if there is some problem in this support spring therefore they do not generate the enough pressure in order to press the powder as i have told you over here as they do not press the proper prop, uh, properly okay then the in the next stage the amount of powder that is going inside okay the dosing this is going to reduce okay so you have to check the support spring and you have to check whether the proper pressure is been applied by the tamping pins onto the powder in order to form the slugs okay the next problem uh, why the target weight is not been achieved is because of the insufficient binding okay 
as as there is insufficient binding so what may be happen some part of the powder may get lost before delivery inside the capsule after this what happens in the last stage this slug is getting delivered inside the capsule this slug is put inside the capsule okay a proper binding is not going to happen then there may be a problem that some part of the slug may fall off and it is not entering inside the capsule okay that also may lead to the non achieving of target weight okay and next is poor flow of powder okay the flow of powder from this area okay from the powder bed inside the dosing disc is not proper okay because of this also there may be improper weight of the slug or last is because of the formulation is very sticky if the formulation is very sticky then what is going to happen this formulation is going to stick to this tamping pin okay so it is pressing and it is going up like your uh, tablet compression machine okay this acts as a punch so it is pressing and when it goes up as the formulation is sticky because of the excess of binding here it was insufficient binding but because of excess of binding binding agent that you have taken this tamping pin to this tamping pin some powder may get attached to this tamping pin okay and definitely in the next stage again what is going to happen the same tamping pin is going to press so less amount of powder is going to be pressed okay got it so you have to check whether the powder has been stuck to the tamp tamping pins okay this is about the target which not been achieved this is the next problem that you are going to see have you understood this <coughs> anybody who has not understood are you finding this topic a little bit difficult or are you understanding it is it easy to understand or difficult i want your reaction i am waiting for your reaction in chat box only bhakti has responded others please <clears throat> absolutely now now size it it also depends it also depends upon uh, it not only depends upon the capsule size okay uh, jivika it not only depends upon the capsule size but it also depends upon how much material this dosing this okay now any size of capsule as i told you over in in automatic capsule filling machine there may be a size uh, so your capsule is fitted over where it is fitted inside the bush so you have two bush you have a top bush and you have a uh, you have a top bush and you have a bottom bush your capsules are in these bushes okay so if your capsule size is 0 0 then accordingly you have to take the bushes which are which are uh, as per 0 0 this we are going to see in my further this thing okay regarding the problems of bushes we are going to see further so i have to take the top bush and bottom bush such that 0 0 capsule is going to get fitted into this okay this is something different now what we are talking about it in the 0 0 capsule you can fill anything you can fill the capsule material of size 0 you can fill the capsule material for size 1 you can still fill the capsule material of size 2 size 3 size 4 size 5 definitely you cannot fill the material which is more than this that is the size 0 0 0 ka jo material hoga that much volume you cannot fill but the other all volumes you can fill over there uh, are you understanding so so that is that is with respect to that is with respect to the bushes okay here what we are doing what does this tamping pin do is actually this tamping pin is converting the uh, powder into the slug and this slug this formed slug is further getting uh, uh, entered into the capsule okay inside the capsule shell okay because this is independent dosing system try to understand this is an independent dosing system this is not a dependent dosing system 
in dependent dosing system the amount of material that is getting filled inside the capsule depends upon the capsule size also kyunki jitna capsule size hoga utna wo material fill ho jayega usme so it depends upon the capsule size also for that we have done all that calculation so all that calculation whatever we have done earlier about the capsule size about the material that is going to be filled about which size of capsule is going to be achieved that all is with respect to the in the, uh, dependent dosing, dosing system here the the dose is uh, here the in independent uh, dosing system it is not dependent upon the capsule size so zero material uh, zero size ka jo uh, sorry zero zero ka agar material hai then i can fill it in zero zero also zero one two three four five any anywhere i can fill it okay are you understanding okay now let us go further now weight variation okay now weight variation it is similar to the earlier one that is the target weight is not been achieved it is similar to that only it may be because of the wrong selection of dosing this thickness so this dosing this thickness is not uh, selected properly because of that also there may be weight variation But please remember uh, uh, they had taken uh, two uh, different uh, problems so i have also taken over here two different problems but target weight not achieved and weight variation is going to be one and the same in weight variation you can write the earlier point also and in target weight not achieved you can write down these points also so wrong selection of dosing this thickness may be uh, one of the reason the other reason may be because of the incorrect gap between two three things between the dosing this and the support pad so this is the dosing this and you have a support pad which is over here so between the dosing this and the support pad okay there is some problem so you have a support pad which is sorry not over here i am very sorry it is over here the support pad is over here so between the dosing this and the support pad there is some problem between the tamping pin and the body bush okay so this is this is the body bush as i showed showed you this is the body this uh, this is the body of the capsule and this body of capsule goes inside this body bush okay so if there is an incorrect a gap between the stamping pin and the body push then also there may be weight variation it may be because of the dosing disc and the wiper block this is the dosing disc and this is nothing but the wiper blocks okay so if there is an incorrect uh, uh, gap between the dosing disc and wiper block then also this problem may happen or it may be because of the do improper between dosing disc and the body push so this is the dosing disc right this is the dosing disc and this is the body push okay if there is an incorrect gap between them also then also this problem may of weight variation may occur you have to you have to prepare uh, keep the proper setting of the machine in short the machine setting should be very very proper okay now the next problem may be because of the capsule lock length so the lock length variation is there that is the capsules are, the capsules after manufacturing are too short or the capsule after manufacturing are too long okay so the capsule size should be this much but the capsule is too short or the capsule is too long right this this is known as nothing but the capsule lock length variation right so there may be an excessive joint length so what happens is this is the this is the cap and you have this as the body right this as the body this is the body what happens is your caps comes and they sit onto the body supposing that this should be this much so the lock length this is the lock length this is the lock length okay now this lock length may be either more so it is an excessive joint in this way or this lock length may be less in this way if the lock length is more the capsule size is going to be short if the lock length is less then the capsule size is going to be long okay have you understood so it depends upon the joint length so there is an excess of joint length okay so they should be joined very properly improper setting of closing plate okay 
Now what happens is when the caps and the bodies they are separated. Okay, this is the cap and this is the body. In this body, you fill the material, right? The material has been filled. That is the uh, what you call it? Your uh, tamping pin ka jo uh, slug hai, uh, the form slug that gets filled into this. It goes. The caps and bodies they come closer to each other. Okay, the bushes they are get aligned again on one to each other, and then there are closing pins from here. These closing pin press this body inside the cap. Okay, so it is press pressing it inside the cap, and they get joined to each other. This is the process that takes place. So if this closing plate. Okay, if there is an improper setting of this closing plate, okay, which is closing them together, okay, then also this this problem is going to get happen. So how much it presses the capsules? Jitna wo jada press karega body ko, utna wo body jada andar jayega. If it presses less, then less body is going to go inside. Okay, so closing plate should be properly set. If there is an improper setting of the closing plate, then this problem may occur. Okay. There may be the problem in rubber sheet of the closing plate. So this this closing plate is having a rubber sheet. If there is a problem in rubber sheet of the closing plate, then also if the closing uh, rubber uh, rubber sheet in the closing plate it gets damaged, then also this problem may occur. Or it may be because of the incorrect setting of the closing plate, uh, which I told you earlier. So it is either improper setting or there is an incorrect setting of the closing plate. Then also these problems may occur. So in this course, what you have to do is you have to set the closing pit properly. Okay. Let us move to the next problem. The last two problems are one is denting and other is the telescopy, which I told you we are going to see in detail. So you can see over here this is the dented kind of a capsule. You can see the denting that has happened over here, and you can see the denting that has happened over here. Okay. So this is nothing but denting. This denting happens because of the excessive closing or lock length. Now, what happens is there is some space inside. So this is the cap, and let us uh, let us say that this is the body, right? This is the cap, and this is the body. Now, what happens is your you apply your closing plates, your pins that are present in the closing plate, they apply pressure onto this. If If the right pressure is applied, then you have this is uh, fitting onto the body. But if you apply more amount of pressure, then it goes over here. It goes in such a way inside this where the dent that is seen on the on the edges over here, you can see the denting that happens over here, or you can also see the denting that is happening over here. Okay. This is all because of the excessive closing lock length. So, if you have excessive closing, or you have lock length which is not properly done, then also this problem of denting is going to happen. Okay. So, excessive closing length setting is going to result into the dent of the body dome. So, this is the dome. This part is nothing but the dome. So, at the dome, you can see the denting. Okay. Okay, this creates resistance to the body because there is a resistance that is there because this cap, this body can go to some extent over here. Further, it cannot go, but still, these pins are applying pressure onto it. So they are applying pressure onto it, but it doesn't want to go because there is resistance that is there from the cap. Okay, and because of this, what is happening is there is some dent that is seen over here. It can also happen when the slug is hard. Okay, if the slug is too hard, then also this denting may take place because this slug is affecting the capsule shape because the capsule is quite uh, not that much sturdy. Okay, in order to take the hard slug. Okay, because of this also there may be a problem. Okay, so what you have to ensure? You have to ensure two things. You have to ensure correct this size. Okay, and also ensure that the correct amount of dose is filled inside the capsule. Okay. Now the next type of problem is the telescopic problem. What is telescopic capsule? Okay, this defect occurs when, as I told you, there is a misalignment of cap and body. And what happens is the capsule body. This is the body. See, this is the body. This body, okay, splits. 
here the splitting of capsule here the splitting of body has taken place okay at this portion the splitting of body has taken place right at this portion and this split portion now okay covers the cap it is it is going on to the cap this type of problem is known as telescopic or telescopic problem this defect occurs when cap and body are misaligned and capsule body splits and portion of it covers the cap so portion of the body is covering the cap this problem may be due to misalignment of cap and body bush so as i told you you have a cap and you have a body bush if there is a misalignment then the pins are going to come and they are going to press this uh, body inside the cap agar in dono ka misalignment hoga if they are not properly aligned on each other then there will be a problem which may be happening okay so you have to align the cap and body which is properly the closing pin as i told you you have a closing pin over here which is pushing the cap okay if the closing pin and they should be in the center isn't it but they are not in the center they are little bit twisted over here so the capsule is now going straight it is going to go a little bit crooked isn't it because of this also if the closing pin is not in the center of the body pushes then also this problem may occur or it may be problem because of the damage rubber sheet of the closing plate i told you that closing plate okay this is the closing plate how how this work you have a closing plate over here this closing plate is having a number of pins and these number of pins they press the body inside the capsule this is having a rubber sheet okay this closing plate is having a rubber sheet i told you the rubber sheet may get damaged if the rubber sheet is getting damaged then also this problem of telescopic capsule may occur okay understood so this is about the problems and remedies of hard gelatin capsules okay any problem that you have in this any problem if not then i'll just revise once please remember uh, nowhere uh, uh, arohi said no sir arohi what you didn't understand or you understood everything and good revise your thing acha no sir it is clear okay fine so no need of revision that's what you are saying arohi Now, as I told you in your textbook, one one paragraph on each has been given. Okay, the uh, the titles may be different, but it all whatever I have told you, okay, it all depends upon that only. So let us see in uh, in in short what are the problems and filling in capsule remedies. Uh, what are the problems and remedies in capsule filling? Okay, the first problem that we have seen is the capsule does not enter the magazine. Okay. the second problem that we have seen is the capsule does not enter the rectifier block it is entering it may not enter into the magazine or it may not enter into the rectifier block or the third problem may be the capsule is getting entered inside the bushes from the rectifier block but while getting entry inside the rectifier block it is it is getting damaged okay then the further thing that you have seen that the capsule now is properly entered into the, the rectifier block the Uh, they have separated from each other, but the target weight is not been achieved. Now the target weight is not been achieved because of many reasons. It may be because of the incorrect weight, okay, target weight, uh, because of the capsule selection size has been wrong. Now please remember, as I told you, you cannot select a capsule. Uh, what GB ka? When I was answering GB ka, you can select a capsule of bigger size. Okay, a bigger size capsule can be selected, right? For a smaller material, but a smaller size capsule is cannot be selected for a larger material. Okay, so if the slug is bigger and your capsule is smaller, then also it cannot be. It it, it is not done. But uh, for a smaller size, uh, for a bigger, you can select the bigger size capsules. As you can select a zero 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 size capsule. Okay, or you can select a zero zero size capsule, or you can select select a zero capsule for a smaller material. which can fit into one 
two or three or four or five okay this can be done but if you are selecting an improper capsule size where the slug is big but the capsule is small then there may be a problem when the target fit may not be achieved okay it may be also because of the improper slug formation which may be because of the uh, uh, improper selection of dosing disc it may be because of the spring problem in the dosing disc it may be because of the insufficient tamping insufficient pressure that is applied okay it may be because of that also the target may not be the um, weight may not be achieved because of the insufficient binding okay of the slugs that may also be problem it may be because of the poor flow of powder from the powder bed inside the dosing disc so from powder bed it is not going inside the dosing disc then also this problem may occur or it may occur because of the formulation disc very sticky then we saw weight variation which is also similar to the earlier one and where we saw there is incorrect gap between the dosing disc and the putting pad between the tamping pin and the body bush between the dosing disc and the wiper block or between the dosing disc and the body bush so any any problem is there between the setting then also weight variation is proper we saw what are dosing disc okay we saw what are what is the body bush so this is the body bush we saw what is the wiper bed so this is the wiper block okay and we saw what is the dosing so this is the dosing disc and these are the tamping pins okay then we saw that uh, the capsule uh, length variation is there lock length variation is there okay and because of this lock length variation there is variation in the capsule size also okay the length of the capsule also gets uh, varied okay and this lock length variation is because of the excessive joint length it may be because of the improper setting of the closing plate which is containing the closing pins okay it may be because of the damage of the rubber sheet that is there in the closing plate or it may be also because of the incorrect setting of the closing plate and lastly we saw the two other things uh, two other problems that we saw the problem of denting okay which may be because of the excessive closing okay or it may be also because of the hard slug that is there whereby the dome body dome uh, what about that dent or this dent may be possible on the sides also then we next we saw the last we saw was the telescopic capsule in telescopic capsule what is happening is the capsule body is getting splitted and it covers the cap okay some portion of the cap is covered by this uh, capsule body okay uh, denting and telescopic are very common problem that you see in the capsule filling okay uh, it may be because of the misalignment of cap and body bush it may be because of the closing pin that is not there in the center okay or maybe because of the damage rubber sheet of the closing pin okay so these are the different different problems and remedies that you see during capsule